Hello there, it's camera sample time again. This time we are covering the Yukitel K8000, which boasts a dual camera on its rear with a 16 megapixels main sensor and a 2 megapixels secondary sensor, or at least uh, that's what Yukitel do advertise. In fact, it's just a 13 megapixel sensor and a VGA secondary sensor which actually isn't used for anything and they're also supposed to be an f1.8 aperture according to the information stored inside the pictures but i seriously doubt that considering uh, the actual low light performance of this phone i can't tell exactly um, what the sensors inside the main camera are because the libcameracustom.so file contains a whole ton of sensors i really can't tell exactly which one i actually used but I think that uh, the rear camera is a Sony IMX214 sensor and the secondary sensor is either a Galaxy Core 0310, which we know very well, or the SP0A20, which also is a VGA sensor. For the front camera, they are using a 13 megapixel sensor according to the manufacturer with f2.2 aperture. But um, again, I can't tell exactly which sensor it is. There are quite a lot of sensors inside this lip camera custom file, which could be the front camera. First, uh, there is the AR1335, which would be a 13 megapixel sensor indeed. But there are also a V8856 sensors with 8 megapixel, a HI846 with 8 megapixels, or a GC8024 again with 8 megapixels. So I don't know which one is used there. Regarding uh, the flash, there is a dual LED flash inside the Yukitel K8000. Regarding picture quality, at daylight, the main camera performs fairly good. Um, it's not a perfect camera. Um, it doesn't reach the level of, for example, a Xiaomi Redmi Note 4 or something like that. But it does halfway decent photos. They are usable, don't look too bad. In terms of colors, they are okay. Detail is okay too, sharpness too. Um, not too bad there. Just, of course, um, the bokeh mode is a fake. Um, you shouldn't expect too much from that. It's just a, a cheap software effect uh, that doesn't look so nice most of the time. Regarding the front camera, this one is rather disappointing. Um, no matter if it's low light or daylight, pictures always look kind of mediocre. What the main camera doesn't like at all is a low light as well. Um, as soon as there's a lack of light and Sunset actually is enough for that, so there would be still some sunlight, but less of it. It already starts creating a lot of noise, it starts getting issues doing sharp pictures, so as soon as daylight is gone, you really shouldn't take any pictures with this phone anymore, because um, they just suck. And also with the LED flash, the results look not that good. As you can see, a lot of noise in there. Um, really not the best low light performance there. Regarding videos, I'm surprised to see uh, that the Full HD footage is stabilized on the main camera. It supports EIS, which is nice to see. And also autofocus is there, but it's so slow that it's not really usable and it's fast to actually do tap to focus there. Regarding the quality of videos, well, again, kind of mediocre. It's not totally bad, but I've definitely seen a lot of better performing phones there. And uh, the front camera can record with a maximum of 480p, but again, quality sucks and, well, again, not the best performance there. And 480p is just totally outdated these days, but at least it supports EIS. So, yeah, better than nothing, right? And I think uh, that's all you need to know about the Yukitel K8000 camera. Thanks for watching this camera sample video and stay tuned for the full review. Bye bye. This is a video recording test using the main camera of the Yukitel K8000. Testing if image stabilization works. And yep, it does. And next, checking if there is autofocus. And yep, there is, but it's a bit slow. Check that out. takes ages. So this needs to be optimized.
And this is footage recorded on the front camera of the Yukitel K8000. As you can see, this one supports electronic image stabilization as well. But there is only a fixed focus on this one. 